All right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my videos, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Logan Paul. You know, it's done. His career is over, and um, I don't know what he did. I mean, I remember this video right here when he had the whole little. Uh, I really don't want to get into it because I don't want YouTube to come at me. But when he, uh, we, obviously, we all know what he did right here. You know, he had an apology video. They tried to cancel him and everything because of it. But apparently, this dude's saying Logan Paul did something else and his career is done. So let's get into the video and watch the video. You know what I'm saying? If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We are trying to get 8,000 subscribers by the end of February. So we are grinding all the rest of December, all of February, and so on. But that's the goal we got right now. Anyway, let's get started to this video. So recently, it was the five-year anniversary of the vlog that changed Logan Paul's life. At the time, he was a groundbreaking yeah, internet ago. star with money falling out of his butt who clearly felt that he could... Now, real quick, uh, me personally, I like Logan Paul. I feel like after that whole experience happened, he kind of matured up. He kind of went to boxing, did all different types of stuff, podcasts and whatnot, too. I feel like he ain't really do nothing, like, recently for people really to be hating on him. I'm like, you can't really get mad at somebody for an opinion, you know, like when Andrew Tate, because everybody got their own opinion. It's just if you're going to speak up or not. But, yeah, I wonder what he did recently. Do Full screen. No wrong. One month ago, the social media superstar with over 16 million YouTube subscribers was at the top of his game. But this Paul brother would quickly find out that he was not invincible. And in fact, he would seemingly turn the whole world against him with one single video. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. And uh, things obviously changed pretty He looks pretty so different without a beard. I, I believe it happened for a reason. At this time, I, I like most people over the kid. age of 10, <laughs> already thought that Logan was quite frankly an idiot. He was loud, he was annoying, and he was disrespectful. Worst of all, he was essentially making content for kids and thought it would be a good idea to document something so disgusting on a public platform with ads. There's really no describing the twistedness of someone's brain to be able to go to Japan looking for this, film the vlog, go back. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Obviously, I do think that was a mistake that Logan Paul, you know, did. He probably thought it would be a good idea for a video, you know what I'm saying? But he came off really disrespectful to all the people, you know, that could have died and whatnot. But as far as this dude go right here, he just, he seemed like he just straight up hating, like at this point, like, like you could tell he got some type of hatred towards Logan Paul, like in a way of his tone. But I mean, like I said, I mean, what's funny is I used to watch Logan Paul. Like in the beginning stages, I didn't really watch him as much. I started liking him after they tried to cancel him and he got back mature because I like how he was doing boxing and all that stuff. Back and edit the vlog, like, yeah. give it a final look after editing it with your team, and decide to post it for millions of people to see. After this all went down, I thought he was about to be done forever. He had been removed from YouTube's partner program and was getting hate on a massive level. It's been tough. Millions of people literally telling me they hate me to go die in a fire. To be honest with you, the hardest time of my life. Like, for real, y'all want that man to die in a fire <laughs> because he. Hated you know, messed up on the, the video. whole world. But thanks to some legendary rebranding away from making kids content, a boxing career, a podcast, a beard, and a friendship with a longtime rival, a Logan had really changed his public perception over the last couple of years. And I would say he found himself in the good graces of most of the general public. In 2022, he is as popular as he's ever been. He's on the verge of having one of the biggest sports drinks in the world, rivaling Gatorade. He signed a contract with the WWE. His podcast is Dope. booming. And he's obviously making more start money a podcast, than ever. Man. He was proving time Bruh. and time again that he could shift these markets from Pokemon cards to NFTs and pretty much anything he decides to have tunnel vision on for a three month period. I don't want anyone to tell me anything is impossible ever again. The fact that I'm in here with one of the greatest boxers of all time proves that the odds can be beat. 
Mayweather it was almost is the as if everything, at least the public perception of everything involving Logan, had turned to gold. But even in the midst of all this success, one big criticism many detractors had against him was that he was so scared of being cancelled again that he essentially became a mouthpiece for all that is politically correct. On all social issues, he started to represent the safest possible take because he wanted to continue and maintain his business deals without fear of backlash from the general public, aka fear of being cancelled. To me, I see this and I'm like, what a fucking G. Like, he don't, he don't give a fuck, right? Wait, is that really what you think, or is that what you said? But like, I swear to God, I swear to God, he's wearing a dress. Like, out. your immediate thought is, wow, this guy's a real gangster. Yep, yep, because I'm all about cha challenging social norms. It's like he was the polar opposite of someone like... I mean, I ain't gonna speak on that. Sneeko, who recently took the internet by storm by purposely playing the contrarian viewpoint of society over and over again. In general, I would like to think that most rationally minded people live somewhere in the middle of these two spheres. Either way, everything was clearly working out in Logan. Logan's favor, oh. as he was well on his way to becoming a billionaire within the next couple of years. But like now, five years after his first cancellation, he's getting canceled once again for something else altogether that has absolutely nothing to do with social issues or something that he said wrong. Logan is in trouble for his shady business practices after YouTube investigator CoffeeZilla revealed a video series he had been working on for the last year where he exposed Logan Paul's CryptoZoo project. Today, we're investigating Logan Paul's CryptoZoo, a blockchain game that made millions but never worked. Some of you guys think you know the story, but it goes so much deeper. CryptoZoo was supposed to be, in I Logan's words, a game where people could have fun and invest money. It was centered around these NFT pictures of animals morphed together. You breed cats to make more cats that can breed more cats, and like people, again, say that they're worth money. Right. What if we actually made that cool, right, and fun? Yeah. And so I did that with animals. You know, what what, what do, does hey, everybody love? Yeah, you out here breeding animals, animals. Yeah. what the hell? Kittens, fucking bear. Yeah, the yeah. Keep in mind, this project was released at the height of the Crypto NFT zoo. hype, and at the time, idiots everywhere were shilling out tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars on what was essentially a JPEG image. Being promised that it would be the next big thing as our society transitioned to a virtual world. In particular, I do think he got extra juiced up when he found out that Gary V, who he sees as a mentor, had made tens of millions of dollars selling childlike doodles to his followers called v friends bro gary has v friends crushing right now gary vanderchuk vanderchuk good friend of mine i think there need, there's I think so there much needs to be a fresh take in this project Mike, that i what have am, what am i doing uh, wrong is that fresh what are they doing take, september 1st cryptozoo.co and, and i knew i wanted to make a creative mark in the nft space not just a collecting mark right and so CoffeeZilla came out with his expose video that so essentially claims that this NFT animals. project was straight up not usable in any way, the game did not work, you could not hatch your crypto zoo animal, which was an essential part of this quote unquote game, and that they essentially left investors in the dark hey. after they put these tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars that into Logan's pocket. This has consumed know how, his people life. I like doing it. We put hundreds of thousands of dollars in it uh personally the whole team a million if people love it as much as we do which i think they will and like i said bro man i just want to wake up with his bank account he's right but i'm right more than i'm wrong that's I all i need right waking up people love it yeah but we're coming up with really but i'm gonna really get there for sure for sure plans for you know cry. six months down the line a year down the line two years down the line Basically, the promises were all empty, and that Logan essentially sold them a pipe dream and abandoned them for a newer, shinier project. I lost around $50,000 in cryptos. I lost $40,000. I lost around 15,000 US dollars. I lost 25,000. Well, why would you pay for that? $20,000. I wouldn't give that I wouldn't give that a Australian, dollar, which is half a million. Now, many would think from the I mean, outside yeah, looking fault. in that this would be enough to end that's Logan Paul. Fault. I mean, you would think it would completely destroy his reputation, but this is far from his first rodeo when it comes to selling his audience on sketchy projects that he gets all excited about for a few months 
and then forgets all about when something else catches his eye. In 2020, he started a behind the scenes, like aka challenge. behind a paywall Maverick Club, costing $20 a month, and apparently the content on there was all ash cheeks. This behind the scenes footage and information was a bunch of B-roll bullshit. But still, I would not necessarily consider this a scam Maverick because Club. at least he is delivering the consumer something. Last year, he promoted a project called Dink Doink, which was a shit crypto coin that Logan Paul put out at the height of the crypto mania. Are y'all seeing a running theme here? At first glance, Dink Doink is just a fun cartoon created by some of the world's top comedians and influencers. I mean, if you pay for this stuff, I mean, you can't really blame. Dink Doink is so much more than that. Dink Doink is the world's first ever decentralized word. IP given to a community and run by a community. B -b Bullshit! And the real worst part about that is that he tried to make it look like he was some randomly interested investor in the project that he was promoting, but he really designed the entire thing. CoffeeZilla also covered this story back when it happened. And I really do encourage you guys to go check out these full videos that CoffeeZilla has done. At this point, that guy is producing higher quality shit than what you see on Netflix. And let's also not forget about the time earlier last year, I believe, that Logan launched these Logan cards, which were also NFTs. Seeing this, so what that was exactly pretty much did Logan? Logan Paul do okay. shitty business yeah, practices over and over again despite the it looked like he does opportunities to, to do some really cool stuff and he's still messing around down here with these shady ass people it's like he gets all excited about these projects and trying to curate them but it seems like he doesn't really have the technical understanding to really be the one promoting these things in good faith to an audience of millions of impressionable kids but y'all let me know what you guys think about this latest Logan Paul news down below. Has Logan really changed? Is it all an act? As always, I do want... I mean, um... It, me, personally, it looked like dude was just, like, doing research on Logan for years, trying to expose him. He just waiting for Logan to slip up, and then he gonna come back with a new video. But, I mean, personally, you know what I'm saying? I, I give my man's Logan credit. I mean, I feel like, you know... Yeah, he definitely did mess up, you know what I'm saying? I was looking down on him, too, with that whole, when he went to Japan and all that. But I really think he, you know, he turned his life around. And I think people need to stop trying to reach for hate. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed that video, you found that video interesting, go ahead and uh, like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I'm going to talk to you all later. All right.